welcome back to another week at home these are always my favorite vlogs it's monday morning i did two workouts this morning because i have so much social school credit right now that's going to expire and i just i can't let that money go to waste i accidentally bought extra classes not realizing that my class thing like renewed Anyways, had a really fabulous morning. I finished that book, The Gap in, oh my God, I'm like coming at you guys so strong, sorry. Whew. I finished that book, The Gap in the Gain, that I talked about so much last week. And then I've been talking about it in a podcast. It was just so good and so helpful. I'm gonna read it again and go through and take notes. And I just, I'm obsessed. So today is July 3rd. I have literally no idea what I'm doing tomorrow. I never have great 4th of July plans and every year I say I'm gonna have better plans. And then things just like, are up, we're up in the air and then it just like all got canceled and here we are. So I think I'm gonna go to like someone's pool tomorrow. Um, but today I am organizing my garage. Now listen, that might not sound exciting to you, but I am incredibly excited. My grandma is on her way to my house right now. I'm dropping off fits to get a bath. Um, and we're gonna organize my hosting closet too because off of my garage I have this big closet that is like my dream closet for all of my hosting So I'm gonna move a bunch of stuff in the garage to one of my two attics I've never had an attic before and I have two now um, We have a lot of like inventory for the oak kind of my garage. That's where we're keeping a lot of it. So that stuff will stay, but the rest of the stuff, I just have like junk from the move, things that I don't need, just whatever. We're decluttering, I'm gonna feel so amazing, we're gonna donate a bunch of stuff. And it's good stuff, it's just stuff that like I don't need. So it's gonna be amazing. I'm really looking forward to it. I got great news this morning. It's gonna be a good week. So subscribe if y'all are new here. Sorry for what is going on with this light. Okay, I don't know what's going on with this light, but look at Fitz, Mr. Handsome. Somehow that only took like an hour with my grandma. We got so much done. I'll show you guys. I can't show you like a lot of the garage because there's just other stuff over here. Um, it's just all boxes, so it doesn't really matter. I have people coming and taking a bunch of stuff, but it is so much better. I wish more than anything I had this garage stained prior. Oh, one of Coco's collars. I wish I had it stained prior to moving in because now I pretty much can never get it stained because I can't just like leave this stuff outside for a day, you know? But anyways, it's amazing. I even have this closet over here that's like finished off and is so convenient with other stuff. I'm like really set on eventually like finishing it off. Okay, like obviously, hold on. I don't even know where how to put the light switch on. I don't even see a light switch, but okay. It's really, really big, and there's more space over there. You can't really see because it's so dark. But now I want to finish it off and turn it into like an office or like something else or like, I don't know. Whenever I like do all the rest of the home projects that I've been wanting to do, like the pool, garden, all that stuff, um, I'll eventually get to that. I really will. And then just like put AC up there. 
I mean, obviously it's gonna be annoying to have to go up here, but like to finish it off, like that's like an extra room, you know? And I do need like an office, but would I hate not having light? You know? I guess I could if I wanted to get like skylight installed, but like that's really doing the most. So anyways, um, we are gonna do the hosting closet now, which eventually, Mike and I were talking, I wanna have wallpapered, I wanna paint the trim, and then I also want, um, like we might like get like a curtain thing around, look we'll see. Um, those like hanging things right there, I'm going to hang aprons on, which will be great. I'm gonna be up on my cookbooks. It's gonna be fabulous. So I'm gonna start doing that. It's gonna be like a whole thing. I'm gonna give myself an hour. It's 12 oh six, see if I can be done by one. You'd be shocked. I cannot believe we did all that by one. Like that was actually crazy. Here's the final before. one hour later to the minute and I forgot I was even timing it so it was perfect timing we are done it looks so stunning I'm still needing some other like organizational things I want to have a wrapping station but I'm not exactly sure what I want with that up there there's some clutter because it's like those are boxes that I've kept of like photos and letters and things from friends that I've had for 10 years I've been collecting them so I need to put them in another closet and my crock pot's up there I don't know if I want my crock pot to stay up there Okay, like, this is so extreme, but, like, it'd be fun to, like, do a little cool light here. I know this is a closet, guys, okay? You know, what? whatever. Over here, we have our aprons. Very cute. Robinning housewife. This is, um, Kit and Cynthia's club. I have so many with this cut. This is actually my favorite cut of aprons over time, I've realized, because it's just, like, fun and frilly. I love a frilly apron. These are the Robinning housewife ones we dropped last year, and I have, like, four extra. And then over here... I have all of my dishes. We'll start with the top. So I have a ton of wine glasses and just other glasses that I've thrifted, urban, that was sent to me. It says Kinsey Elizabeth, cute. My Steins, Christmas stuff over here, which I'm gonna have to figure out how to organize better. I'm hoping to get a Christmas whole set this year, so that'll be somewhere. I don't know if I'm, maybe we'll put that away in the attic for the year, we'll see. Then I have some extra stuff. Most of this, again, I've thrifted. You guys, if you saw last week's vlog, this 96 piece set, wow. Again, thrifted all of these. I need more, like, little napkin holders. Those are actually all I have, so I need to get some more. Here's some chargers. I always need more chargers. Um, some serving plates, things like that. Um, I have some coolers, some, like, tabletop, like, centerpiece stuff placemats, napkins, and then I have some tablecloths, which I'm missing a few. Down here, I just have so many drinks that I have no idea. I've been sent way too many drinks. I don't know how to get off, like, mailing list. There's just, like, too many of them. And then I also move my cookbooks out here, and I just love it in here. I am so disgusting. It's now 1 p.m. and since 6 a.m. I've either been working out or working in my garage, and I need to shower, but I need to pick up bits in the bath first for the groomers, and then just start to get my life together. I need to water the plants still, like, I feel so much better now that this stuff is done though. What a day today has been, guys. I'm drinking coffee, it's 4 p.m. I've been working from my little studio office room for a couple hours. My house feels amazing, like literally amazing. Um, I got these from our place. This I made one order and I got two packages, so I'm not going crazy. Oh, oops. Um. But I wanted to show y'all because I mentioned this last week. So these connect onto like the Art Place pot and you can cook three different things in one pot. That pot is my favorite pot ever. I use it all the time for soup. Like in pasta, just everything, honestly, in the fall and winter. Um, I actually think I really want to make my like bone broth beef stew that I was making because I have a lot of beef meat or just beef stew meat in general from... Um, butcher's box obviously so I think I'm gonna do that and I'll use that pot it's the best thing ever anyway I just wanted to show you guys this because it's so cool I haven't seen anything like it um I found so many other like kitchen stuff that has just been in boxes since I have been using these so I must have 
more of these than I thought. My mom got me them for Christmas from Anthropology. They're just so cute. I love like little, like, I was gonna say splash, yeah, splashes of color in the Chris in the Christmas time in the kitchen. And then my sister Alexis caught me this one year, a couple years ago actually. Um, with like another part of my Christmas gift, which honestly, this is like a random thing she threw in at the end, she said, and I use this like the most out of anything. So, I, what is this even called? I always forget these names. It's not even like I always forget. I honestly, guys, my brain fog is so bad. I feel so stupid, like most of the time, which is like a little bit alarming, you know? So, anyways, I'm gonna put those away and then keep working. Today, like I said, is July 3rd, so obviously, Oh my god, so obviously, what was I going to say? So we have off tomorrow, or my friends have off tomorrow, so we're going to go do dinner and get some drinks and like maybe go to a bar tonight, which is so weird because it's a Monday, and then tomorrow is going to be a chill day. I think I'm going to go to the pool with Macy and just have like a really chill, relaxed day, but I'm just really excited about life right now. All right, guys, it's this is a very different vibe than we've been all day, but I did get ready. Um, I'm wearing my sunglasses inside like a douchebag. Because I just filmed my TikTok outfit of the day. But I will give you guys this view. I feel like it's a better little outfit of the day view. My top is from Skims. It's super lightweight. So it's like perfect for summer. Um, this is so dark. What's going on here? My skirt is not mine. It was left to my house forever ago. It's not even my right size. But I have this belt making it work. I don't even know whose it is. It's been here forever. And I'm claiming it as my own. Belt is my favorite belt from Revolve. I have my vintage Harley boots on my earrings and my sunglasses are jenny bird and then my chanel and i'm obsessed i just love it so much i'm gonna go to a card game for my friends and i to play at dinner we love a card game at dinner drinks like there's just there's nothing better i literally can't watch myself with wearing sunglasses inside i like filmed a tiktok right when i got home so i was wearing them at first and then i took them off in it and like the cover is that and i just feel like the biggest douchebag like i just i can't even like look at my tiktok right now because i'm just like oh my god it's so bad so anyways um i'm off i actually really like my outfit for something i just threw together in like two seconds and got ready in two seconds i wasn't gonna wear makeup and then i just put it on and now i regret it so Anyways, I don't know what we're doing. We're probably going to go out later. It's like a holiday thing. I'm not going to film tonight. So I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a little weird too because it's a holiday. And then we'll get back into, we'll get back into it. Hi. 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 Hi, 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 hi. Oh. Oh. Oh, come on. That's cool. Okay. You're, oh. Oh! Oh! Woo! Okay, breakfast. Good morning, guys. I just fed the dogs. Speaking of, I didn't deal with them on Instagram, but Hecuba, they're available now at Costco and Target, but this stuff is amazing. The dogs are obsessed with it. It's like a three, and it sounds like a sponsor. It's not a deal. I just really like it. It's like three in one, so with the topper, it's a treat, and then you can also like mix it. I just top their um, food with it, and I mean, they like love it. They're obsessed with it. I'll use it as treats too, like if I bring the bag out with fits when we're around the backyard. Um, but mainly I use it as a topper, and they love it. My parents use toppers for the dogs, and the dogs just like love their food so much more. So anyways, I highly recommend. This is it. They love it. Um, so today's actually the 4th of July. I don't even think I'm, I don't know if I'm gonna even do anything like water related. We're gonna go to the pool, I don't think we're doing that anymore. Um, really, I just need to stay home today and finish the last, I think 30% of fourth wing. It's just taking me forever to get through it. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I'll probably like cook and do some things. I need to go out and get one of my cookbooks. <laughs> Let's go to the hosting closet guys. This is huge. I'm so excited Walking out here and like actually having a walkway and being able oh my god so much better I just hate that. I didn't have these floor stains. I've also like really marked it up, but I love this one I might order some groceries actually This is the bone broth beef stew that I love 
it's really, I know, not like a summer meal, but I have so much of it um, from Pitcher's Box, so I'm actually gonna let that sit out. It's this grass-fed beef stew meat. So, I'm gonna let that sit out, and then I'm gonna make this today. unfinished the other book that is like totally I just love when you're a fantasy writer I always just think you're a fantasy writer like when you read like when you write in like other genres it's just crazy that you're I don't know how to describe it it just feels crazy the things you never leave unfinished book that like Margot was obsessed with and we all read and it was so good and again it was another slow burn but the end of it was so good like I for that book I was out in public reading it and I literally finished it in a parking lot that was 10 minutes from my house because I had to finish it then. I couldn't even wait the 10 minute drive home. Like it was so good, but like not fantasy. Like it was just like a like kind of like a host, kind of like just like a normal book, right? Like whatever. Fourth wing, very, it's a fantasy. So something about that just feels weird. Like I don't want me to box anyone in, okay? Like that's all I'm trying to do. It's just like when I realized that that was the same author, I was like shook. Like I literally like my jaw dropped, so confusing. Anyways. Just finished Fourth Wing. Clearly I liked it, as you can tell. It was a slow burn, like everyone said. I was getting bored at parts. It took me a while to get through it. It wasn't bored, but I just wasn't, like it wasn't a page turner up until like the last, I'd say like 20, 30%. And it got so good. And the cliffhanger at the end was so good. And <laughs> the sequel doesn't come out until November. So I literally want to die because I honestly would have canceled. Not, I don't even really have plans yet, but I would have, Canceled all my plans, or if I was working, I would have cleared my day, okay? To finish that book in a day. What I would have done was downloaded immediately, and I would have kept reading for the entire duration of the day, the next 12 hours, and finished that book. It was so good. So I need someone to hook me up with an advanced reader's copy. Like, I'm literally begging you. I really desperately, desperately need that. And I just won't, I won't be able to survive without that. So, anyways, thank you to everyone who kept telling me I should read it. I do appreciate that because, listen, I am very glad that I listened to y'all because it was the right decision. And it was slow at the beginning. But that's kind of how fantasy is, I feel like. Like, according to the rose, the rose, the rose that I couldn't get into, and I'm sure if I read the second book, I would love it. Um, so I'm not sure I will do that. Part of me is I'm sure I just do that now since I'm like, on this fantasy kick as of today. But I don't even remember what happened in the first book. Um, anyways, I mean, like, that was just, oh my god, I, like, don't even know what to say, because it was just that good. Like, I, I need everyone to read that book. Oh my god, I, seriously, like, it was so good, and I cannot believe that they, the same author, I wish, okay, like, I hope that there's gonna be someone who's read both books that understands how crazy it is. Also, do you guys want to see a little update on my herb garden? Let me show you. Um, so this is my arrow garden. I got it on Amazon. Oh. And things are growing. But this dill, like, is it bad that it's leaning over? Like, I don't know. Scary? We got some basil. We got, we got some things growing. The only thing that isn't growing is thyme. Which scares me, because something's up with that one then. We've got basil, Thai basil, mint. What is this? Parsley. And then dill. Information, so much going on. And sometimes they're like, oh. And I, in, in my case, I feel very like, like, oh, man, you shut up. Yeah. That one. This looks gross, but I promise you, it is so good. I will be that person. No one doubted of that for the tons of you. Sign I thought you. Good morning, guys. It's Wednesday, but it feels like Monday. It's the weirdest feeling. Um, having a holiday on a Tuesday, but yesterday was the least 4th of July, 4th of July I've ever had. I cooked and I read from home all day long. As you guys saw, I started, um, Minka Kelly's, like, memoir yesterday. I'm, like, halfway through already. I listened to her on Armchair Expert. It's really good. I'm such a huge Friday Night Lights fan. 
and her story is crazy. So today is obviously Wednesday. It's like seven. I'm on my way to work out and then I have a meeting, not a meeting, I have like a consultation in school. They invited me in and I'm curious about it. It's like when they put something on you and it's like 20,000 sit-ups or something. Um, so I'm not interested in doing it on like my stomach because that annoyingly is like I would like want to do it on like my arms or something. I don't know. I'm just like interested in they invited me, so I'm like I might as well. Um, I would like to go to like at home or Walmart or something and get new pots today. I would love to even get new plants, but I don't know if that's gonna happen today. Um, and just a bunch of other stuff. So I just need big pots that aren't three hundred dollars. Getting this is another thing. There's so many things that happen when you're an adult that just suck, but you realize that like flower pots are so expensive. So I asked y'all, and everyone replied and said, At home has great places. And then I saw some like viral Target ones that I'm probably gonna order too. Um, so I'll keep you posted. Stopped at Walmart. You'll see what I'm doing with these noodles. Just trust it's like the only pot they have here. They don't have any of the viral ones, they're gone. Okay, now going into at home. I'm excited. I've only been into at home like a couple times in my life and people seem to love it. It's like a better home goods from what I'm getting. I think this for only 50, pretty good. 44.99. This massive one, it's only $70. That's insane. It's huge. Oh my God, they have amazing chargers. So many of them. I am genuinely so amazed by this at home. So when on Skillman, it is so good. I seriously have to cut myself off because this is really insane. Guys, I just had the most fabulous morning, okay? I went and I got my um, consultation done for Inscope Neo. I don't, I think I'm doing it, we'll see. It sounds cool. Anyways, then I went to Walmart, which was fine. Like I needed to get um, pool noodles because I've been seeing it all over TikTok. Basically, when you pot, when you like pot flowers, the soil gets expensive, and then also it's just like a lot of soil, and you don't need that much soil, right? So when you have like huge pots or even just like a medium-sized pot, you typically want to like fill it with something. Like I had these like. Um, I don't even know what they're called. They're just like big circles that you put in the pot. So if the pot is this big and then the circle is here, you only have to fill soil to that point. Obviously you need enough to grow the plant, but basically when a pot is so big, you're wasting money and also time and material and whatever. So um, I've been looking at random things that just like basically take up space. And people are using pool noodles. So I got some pool noodles to do that. I got so many pots from at home. I went to the at home on Skillman. And let me just tell you, I cannot believe I haven't been there before. I just kind of, when I moved in, like when I go to Home Goods and I love Home Goods, I feel like sometimes I just buy like junk. The at home on Skillman was so unbelievable. I got the best deal on so many pots. And then I even found pots that I'm eventually gonna buy when my pool is installed and they're gonna all match and look so stunning and perfect. Um, they had the most tabletop stuff I've ever seen at the best prices. It was magical. Haul time. This is at home. All the prices are on my TikTok. Um, but I got this. So this is just a larger version of the other one. I'm gonna use this for my lemon tree. Am I eventually gonna hate that they're all different, the pots? I don't know. I was just kind of mixing it up, but when I go out to my actual backyard with the pool, I'm going to do all this material because they had so many different kinds and I love this and ideally I'm going to do hydrangeas and just make them work in Texas because they make me so happy and I will figure it out, okay? So that's the smaller version of where my lemon tree is going to go. I just feel like I'll have so many like plants overflowing and it's going to be fine. This is what I'm going to use for that plant over there because that pot is broken. This one, just to have like extra, this is so cheap. It's just like cheap looking, but whatever. Um, and then this one, obviously also really cheap, but it was dark brown and like $10 and I was just kind of interested. Then I got all the pool noodles and a hose. And yeah, I got so much stuff, but this is gonna be perfect. The backyard, all the pots are gonna match. And then this one will do kind of like a mix and match ordeal. Okay. It's great, you know. Yeah. 
No, I'm getting prison. How much you love about? I, I want blurring it. I want. I <laughs> gets in there that I think he'll love. It. And telling people. Just made a full farmers market breakfast. I have ground pork, um, eggs, and then this chow chow stuff that I got as a nice topping. I'm out of sriracha. Or isn't there a shortage? I don't know. So I need to add something else. But it smells so good. Guys, I am truly unstoppable. So, turn my TV on. This remote isn't really working these days, so we'll see. I like literally cannot figure out this thing, but I can basically do all my work from like right here. Have a fan going, do all my like, computer work, get so many steps in. Like I love this. I'm gonna do this all literally all the time. Okay, just filmed my at home haul for TikTok. So I'll show you all some of the stuff I got. But this is for my bathroom. I really, well first off, I got these mats, which I actually need for like one more, so I've got to figure that out. I don't even know if I'm gonna like them. Oh, I do like them actually. This bathroom is just so stunning. Like they redid it right before I bought it. And I felt, I felt like, I don't know, I just like needed like a really nice bath mat to keep up with the decor. Okay, I need scissors for this, but I hate, okay, ignore this because this is stuff I'm going through. I just don't like how everything is just laid out here. So I wanted like a box where I could like hide all of it and keep it out of the way. So I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing. I mean, obviously there's of course too much stuff to fit in here. Classic. Um, but I don't really need all of it out. And I don't mind. Oh god, I don't mind like this being out because it looks cute. That stuff's fine. Just like the other stuff that doesn't really match the bathroom. It's not gonna sit on this thing, but I will just have it out somewhere else. So it's just like less cluttered. But I do like that. It's better than nothing. So I got this bowl, which is beautiful. These mini bowls for my strawberry shortcake bar this weekend. These birthday candles to have. I'm throwing my grandma's birthday party, but just so I can have them like for other people as well. And then I got these little placemats. She wants like a French country theme, but I know like more specifically what she wants and I feel good about like what I have now. And then these are my favorite chargers and they're like identical. I'm pretty sure the exact same as the ones that I got from Target and I just wanted more of them. So I love these, but regardless, they're just perfect. So I'm very pleased. This looks so good. I haven't even put the honey on yet, but wow. Absolutely stunning. Wow. Okay, so little update from Coco's acupuncture appointment. They said she was reacting well and she was like moving her legs. So that's really good updates. I threw this on after I showered today because I'm going to put on the pants, I feel like I've been living in a set active sleep, but I'm not even really wearing it as pajamas. I'm wearing, I mean, I am, but I'm wearing it as like lounge around the house because it's a little bit more like this is one of the tops and then I have like a pink set that I'll probably be wearing tomorrow. Um, and I just love it. But I threw this on because I knew I would tan tonight. Tomorrow I have a Tacoma's opening party. So need to tan tonight. My Thursday night routine is getting a little bit mixed up. But I'm gonna edit and work. It's like 5 p.m. now. I have a couple more hours of work. And then I'm gonna read and go to bed early. I have a 6 a.m. workout. I'm filming a morning routine as well. I haven't filmed a morning routine, I feel like, in so long. And I also wanna do a week of morning routines. Like, I'm gonna film it as like a week of my life, but it's like just the morning, obviously. Anyways, I'm 77% of the way in on Minky Kelly's memoir i read a bunch while coco was in her appointment and i really like it it's really good she's finally like not the friday night lights part but her story just is like really sad growing up but it's just a really good book so gonna finish that and then i'll probably start the second book in the akatar series um because i trust you guys now and i just keep thinking about how like sad i am that i have to wait until november for the sequel to Fourth Wing. I would give it anything. If any of you guys were for a publisher or have any connection to whoever is doing advanced reader copies for this book, 
please, I am your girl. I'm literally begging. I'll read a hard copy if I have to. I really will. I would prefer Kindle, but I'll read a hard copy, okay? So anyways, get a shower, work, and then I'll see you guys tomorrow. I feel like that's it for today. Hi guys, it's Thursday. I just finished filming my morning routine. So I've been filming all morning for another video. It is 11 a.m. and it's got a blow on. I've gotten so much done this morning and I was like on some drug in dry bar. Dry bar, it like puts drugs on my system and I become so productive. But I really need lamps for my bedroom and I'm just gonna go and look at at home again. I know I'm already going back. Um, and I have things I should be doing, yes. But I will be going and looking for lamps. So I'll take you guys along. We're gonna head there now. Okay guys, threads dropped last night and I'm obsessed, like that app it just like put me in such a good mood because it's all the good parts of Twitter and not the bad and everyone's funny. I just like didn't think another social platform, like it's so rare that when one hits and like I'm on, I love threats. Like it's so funny. Anyways, we're gonna set up the um, lamps now and then bring them into the room. I'm hoping that I actually like them. It's time to see this bedroom since moving in. I have put such minimal effort in, if any at all. And honestly, like this right here, this coffee table needs to be switched with the other one because the other one doesn't have this mess up, whatever. The restoration hardware ones that I got on Facebook Market and I love them. They just definitely need to be restained. But let's be honest, I'm not gonna be doing that anytime soon. In fact, I probably won't be doing it ever. I'll, I'll probably need to get someone to do it. I still have to connect the lights. Oh, I need to click. Oh yeah, I like, I just have too much. Oh, what's going on? Okay, that must be the setting that the light pulls on. I also need to get like a topper for this lamp. Like since when do lamps like not come with them, you know? Like, doesn't that feel kind of crazy? Oh yeah, it's definitely a better vibe. Like, I don't know. I feel like I could have done an even bigger lamp. See how this nightstand is the better one? Okay, they're both on this setting. I need to connect the app because I can like dim it from my phone and whatnot. I normally, dang it, I should have gotten them with the remote because I don't like, I really don't like having to get back on my phone at night. But just these lamps, something small, but it's making a difference. I would love to wallpaper this entire room. That's just too much money right now. And I wanna get rid of this dresser and replace it. This is gonna go somewhere else and then I'll get another piece in here. I just have a very specific vibe I want that's very cozy and warm. Um. So yeah, anyways, I like the, I'm actually a fan of the lamps, like they're cute. I like that. Okay guys, Macy and I are on our way to North Park to the new Tacovas that just opened. Also, I did something huge today. Do you wanna hear? I don't even know what. I unpacked the last three boxes that have been sitting in my guest room and my bedroom for literally no reason. Oh my today. god, wow. So I'm finally all moved in. That's insane. They were just sitting there close. You, you should do a post, like all moved in. Yeah, finally. Oh, guys, I'm back in my favorite angle in this little corner. <laughs> I'm kidding, they don't actually have to change it or anything. I like my little corner, guys. If I but look, if I move it too much, Dolly cuts you off. If I look expressionless today, I've been having one of those days where you know it's not an actual migraine because I haven't had one of those in like four years, but it's like on the verge and like I just feel kind of like squinty and, but we're mm. not fighting. Yeah, no, not today. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, I need to show you, sorry, this is random. What? I need to show you my new neighborhood. It's still the village, but it's cuter. I'll cut that one out. You can, you can keep it. You, you just tell people where you live. The village is like 7,000 apartments. Yeah, that's yeah. true. You can keep it. Okay, we'll go after this. Oh, I was gonna say something about my outfit. I was wearing this Madewell dress with my platform sandals and I saw Kenzie's Tacovas and I was like, oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, those are mine. <laughs> I was like, I don't have boots. I need to wear boots. And I was like, I have Kenzie's Tacovas. Or you could have just had me bring some too. It was when you like after you already left. Like oh. I looked at your story like right before you showed up. Yeah. Well, oh my gosh, someone just report, reposted my thread. <laughs> Macy just posted, we're like, just talking about how we love threads and how it's like the craziest ways. And Macy, like, to be funny, what did you tweet or thread? I said, because everyone's just like, 
And it's kind of like a joke at how people's like old tweets got them canceled. Yeah. And now Threads is like Twitter. So I said enough small talk here. Who did everyone vote for in the last election? <laughs> <laughs> it's really funny. It's like bringing, but it's just like funny. It's a good place to be. Like I love it on there. My tweets were like crazy. Like I remember I tweeted, I was like, Katniss only famous because Rue died. Like I would like, <laughs> I would do like Hunger Games like live tweets. You've just like always had such a thing for Hunger Games. Oh, that's so funny that you use that example. That I know. That I screenshotted. Yeah. I love the Hunger Games, but you just I have, just like, always bring it up. <laughs> yeah, like it's actually and then that, like, the number one thing that she talks about. But you're not even like actually <laughs> huge. That's why it's so funny that like. Like I know it's like become like an internet thing to where it's like no, funny, but, you know, no, but then everyone like obsessed with the Hunger Games like randomly for like, Yeah, but so you like, were already like that. Wait, naturally. It I, just came to I you. know. I also found this really funny old tweet of mine and I was just like looking back at my old tweets and it's funny because people's old tweets were like problematic. I was tweeting literal like quotes of like Bible verses. Yeah, <laughs> that was probably me too. It was like forgiveness, be kind to each other, like Ephesians, like you can't cancel me. I was tweeting about forgiveness. Yeah, you can't you have cancel to, me. You have to, no, I'm, I'm uncancelable. You can. It's true. Um, huge, huge news, everyone. You guys I'm trying to make it to where? Ah! Macy. I don't even know if I can get it. Well, it's because they're so big. Oh. I got. Okay. She got her first pair. This is gonna be like tear up my arm. Oh. A boot. Sorry. Yeah. I was to show it's not a boot. Yeah, I have boots, but not like boots. I, boots. I, I, I have like boots, but not. Boots. Holy. You guys, they're like literally the color of this. They're the post. Sorry, that's like all they're I have. They're the Abbey. Reference. They're the Abbey. They're high. They're tan. They're so they're the good. new Tacoma boots that are like knee high. They're the tallest boot they have. And literally, like the entire time, I was like, Kenzie, you should get a high pair. Like a high. Did you have windshield crack or has it always been? It's been like that for a bit. I did crack, but um, those are the next ones I'm gonna get. I just yeah. needed these for a yeah. photo shoot that I'm doing. Yeah. Um, but I, I love I high boots. I don't have the Annie yet, but. Since when was it gonna storm? I know, what? I'm so happy for you, this is such a big day. My mom said, oh, those are beautiful. Oh. Okay, before this, you guys saw me. I wasn't <laughs> feeling that good, I was just kinda tired. And my mom was like, oh, what are you doing tonight? I'm like, oh, I'm going to the Tacovas event, which I was excited for, I was just feeling like, oh. She's like, oh, we're gonna get some new boots? And I was like, no. <laughs> then I got boots. Yeah, then she did. So now Wait. the day is better. Also gonna do an unboxing. I got some Lalo tequila. Ooh, Sorry, we both it. got it. No, not just me. <laughs> and then we got this koozie. And then um, this Beautiful really tote. cute bag, which it's perfect because I've been overusing my Okine tote bag, which I'm obsessed with. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> but it needs you know, a, like she literally is the number one. It needs a break every this. now and then. So yeah. we got this. And then, oh, what else? Great question. Tacovas Dallas. Oh, that's so cute. If I had like a boyfriend, I would give this to him. But I don't. I know. So well, we're me. about to. We're gonna keep going back to that store because everyone there was so hot. They were and actually beautiful. Like, if you need a boyfriend in Dallas, Texas, go that to the Jacoba's North Park store. Like, it was unbelievable. Like, I literally walked in and I was like, "Where am I?" Because like. Overall, I like you've talked about this too. Like Dallas has like good looking guys, but like I'll always see them like spread out. I'm like, yeah, where do you come from? But like I walked in, and I was like, wait, everyone here is like beautiful. Yeah, and they just like were cool. I think it just depends on. Like, As we like didn't talk to any of them. We're like, they yeah, were we didn't so say cool. single word to any of them. But, <laughs> but they we're, we're going cool. to. We're like studying it up. You know. We're yeah, I just really, I didn't feel like it was like the right time. No, you know. No, but we have this whole plan. We're gonna prank call. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not that. We're not gonna do that. But, like, we're literally obsessed with them. They're all really cute. So, this is a really huge day. So happy for you. She's clocked out her social sorry -ness. Well, I'll do my haul when I get home because I don't want to move my uh, stuff right now. Okay, bye, guys. So, these are the new boots that I got. I am obsessed. They're the Josie. Like, look at how perfect they are. I actually don't have any suede boots somehow when I have, you know, like, 20 pairs. I love them. I'm so happy for Macy. I'll link hers below um, if you guys are trying to like get a visual if you want tall boots, but these are beautiful. Like I am just, oh my God, especially for fall, I love them. I just wanna say what a huge difference these lamps have made in my room. They're so much cozier. The one thing I will say, I got these like smart light bulbs. I will say I regret not getting ones with the remote, I might order other ones. I get, I link, I'll link them below. Or do I keep hitting the same? No, there we go. Um, I like having a remote because I don't get on my phone 
I lay in bed and I get off my phone and then I read and I don't like having to get my phone up again and whatever. So, anyways, such a small thing, but it's like an easy way to stay off your phone. Um, but I know these are powered by Alexa, so I could also just say that, but I don't want to like wake up the dogs. You know what I mean? Anyways, no one cares, but I'm in my pajamas. I'm about to wash my face and just like really have a good night. It is 8.30, 9 maybe. Um, and I just can't wait to get in bed, you know? Like, I'm really living for that. All right, y'all, happy Friday. I also filmed my morning routine this morning, so I'm just now starting the vlog, and it is, like, 11. I have been, you know what? I think that I need to do the dishes. That's what it is. I have been doing the most today. Like, such a good morning. You guys will see it in the video. Anyways, today is Friday. I have to come over to install my art TV. So I have a little mini frame art TV that I'm gonna have installed in my bathroom. So it was in my master bedroom in the last place. It's just really small because I have like no room. So I have the TV and my idea is to put it in the bathroom. So I'm gonna have it hung right there so I can play music, listen to podcasts from it. And then also I can watch TV from the tub. Like, how amazing is that? And it's just going to look like art on the wall. So it's actually perfect. Okay, TV's been installed. And guys, okay, we couldn't, like, put it through the wall. I guess we could if we really wanted to. But look at this. So we put a cord cover there, which I feel like is kind of ruining my beautiful bathroom. Sure, the mess is as well. Like, I already know my mom is going to hate this. So, I mean, it was my, I'm the one who said to do it. I could get, like, a big, like, vase or something to put here to try to cover up as much as possible. And, like, naturally, there will always be robes here. So, like, realistically, you could still only see, like, that. There would be, like, a little line. But having this here is just going to be so amazing, especially if we're getting ready, like, what a great experience. Like, I can watch vlogs. I can watch One Tree Hill. I can put a podcast on there. I'm obsessed. It's Friday afternoon. Fitz and I are in bed. I'm editing. I should not be working from bed. But I am. With my little cute little lamp. Like, I am obsessed. I'm going to drink some more coffee. And I should be getting out of bed. But I'm not going to. And just work from bed. How many times can I say bed in this clip? for a couple more hours and then I have dinner with friends. So I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have so many fun vlogs coming up that I'm filming and I'm just really excited, but I love y'all and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Like I went through like a teenage angsty era where I was like, no, like I love Texas, but like it's not for me. Like I'm meant for like the city. I, I need to be in Los Angeles or New York or whatever. And I did that and it was great. Love both places. I didn't know what I had until it was gone. You know, my dad always said that to me. He's like, you're gonna move away and then realize that you want to be here and then move back and I was like nope that's not gonna happen and that's actually exactly what happened so jokes on me